Socketing is the act of affixing magical jewels to certain items in your inventory, which adds an array of enhancements to the items, enhancements that you can add to yourself by equipping the socketed item. Socketing will become available to you once you have reached level 15 and have completed the crafting quests from Eudora Tangle Tree in Old Town. To add a jewel to an item, open your backpack. Select an item that has sockets, then click on the Affix Jewels button. You can only add a jewel to a matching socket. There are different shapes of jewels. Use the tabs at the top to sort through specific shapes to find the one you want. To enchant your object, simply select it on the left side of the screen, then click the Affix button in the middle. Be warned, this cannot be undone. If you wish to replace this jewel in the future, you will need to select it and press the Shatter button to destroy it. You can then put a new jewel in that socket. Some items have sockets that are locked. They can be unlocked with a socket wrench or with crowns. To unlock a socket, click the Unlock All Sockets button on the Jewel Socketing page of your spellbook. This will pop up a menu where you can use a socket wrench, if you have one of the appropriate level, or crowns to unlock the socket. Jewel crafting works much the same way crafting other items works. However, when you craft a jewel, there's an element of randomness in the process. Even when you use the same recipe, each jewel you craft can have different enhancements with different values. You'll start with a jewel crafting station, then acquire specific recipes for crafting the different jewels. The higher level the jewel crafting recipe, the higher the level of the crafted jewel. Each jewel crafting recipe is different, but they all start with the basic ingredients of gems, metals, and treasure cards. Sorry, the gate is closed. No one can pass through without permission from the headmaster.
Am I glad to see you, wizard? I'm afraid all the renovations we've done in Wizard City have led to a few unintended consequences. You know, construction noise, dust, broken windows, and a handful of seismic tremors. Nothing major, but we did cause this hole in the bedrock. I had directed my crew to fix the hole ASAP, but apparently curiosity got the better of young Doug. Doug's always been keen on holes. A natural born digger, that one. Unfortunately, he never quite mastered the art of digging himself out. According to the city plans, there's a network of runoff drains running beneath this area. Poor guy probably just can't find his way out. Or he's got himself cornered by a cave troll. Or a sewer cracking. Doug's always going on about being afraid of cave trolls and sewer crackings. More than likely, he's simply gotten lost and disoriented in the dark. Doug's even more afraid of the dark. Please, wizard, you gotta go down there and rescue Doug. His mom will kill us if something happens to him. Another nasty little topsider. Let me guess, you's looking for that fuzzy flea farm what came scratching round here, ain't you?